Welcome back to Three Oaks Woodworking. The inspiration for this week's project comes from a really good friend of ours, Melody. We noticed that she subscribed to our channel and she watches all the videos and she even makes comments. Which we appreciate and we encourage you to do the same. Yeah. But Melody is going through a tough time right now so we thought maybe we could brighten her day. She's fighting breast cancer. And she's fighting like a girl. Yeah. <laughs> so at the same time we encourage all you ladies to get your checkup. That's been Melody's message on Facebook and social media and she's encouraging all her friends to do that. So do it. It saves lives. Get your checkup and get your mammogram. Another thing we know about Melody is she loves animals. Especially cats. She loves cats. Yes. So we were talking with her daughter about what might we make for her to kind of brighten her day and make her feel a little better. And her daughter was very helpful and helped us conspire very sneakily uh -huh. to make this week's project. They have recently acquired three cats outside. There's a mama cat and two babies. So we thought that we could make a kitty condo for Melody. Yeah. And that's what we're going to do this week. Come on, let's make a kitty condo. Having never built a kitty condo before, we had to get a plan. So the first thing that we did was get on Pinterest for some ideas. Then we checked out Amazon to get some measurements for openings and things. We decided on an A-frame design with three units and sort of a basement area where they could use for a, a kitty lounge or open air dining, something like that. Kevin drew out the actual dimensions on large paper, which helped us determine the actual dimensions. I was very pleased to find that the angle was 22 and a half degrees, which was an easy one to work with. Our next step was to cut 3 quarter inch plywood to 20 inches, which is how deep the interior of the house is. Next I set the table saw blade to 22 and a half degrees, which is what the angle of our roof line for our A-frame will be. The ground floor is 38 inches wide. The middle section that will have two condo units is 27 inches and the top floor unit is 13 inches. So Kevin cut them to width with that angle on each edge. We are going to attach the floors to the roof framing and the front and back walls using pocket holes. Kathy loves using the Craig pocket hole machine. Here you can see all three floors waiting for more pocket holes. For the roof framing, which is also the side walls of the A-frame, I used some refurbished two and a quarter inch one by material and basically made two face frames connected with pocket screws. For the front and back walls, we used rough sawn 1x12s. We planed the edges of the 1x12s and joined them together using our world famous dry biscuits. We spread the glue with a brush to get total coverage and we make sure to get glue in the biscuit slots. After clamping, we wipe off the excess glue, making for a much neater job. Once the glue up dried, we used our pattern to mark the outline and cut the peak. Then we used the cutoffs to fill in the outside edges and attach them with pocket screws. This way we could conserve materials. We make our final cuts to the A-frame using a straight edge clamp to the work and a circular saw. The overall size of these two frames is 20 by 50 inches each. Now we can attach the roof face frames to the front and back peak walls. To do this, we'll use pocket screws and glue. We're using Tight Bond 2 wood glue, which is rated for interior and exterior use. With the front attached, we can flip it over and attach the back. This video is brought to you by Discarded Animals Everywhere. Our friend Melody and her family do their best to help these poor animals and we encourage people to adopt rather than shop. Our little nugget Daisy was a throwaway until she came to our family over 13 years ago. She makes us smile every day. She's even a retired therapy dog. I used to take her to visit patients in the hospital. And now, back to our regularly scheduled program. Now it's time to install the floors. We do this with wood glue and pocket screws. We also install a bottom piece to the front and back of the project using more glue and pocket screws. 
This will hide the edge of the plywood. To make a solid peak that we can attach the corrugated metal to, I rip a piece of 2x4 using the same 22 and a half degree angle. This piece will help to form the overhang by a couple inches on the front and back of the house. Before adding the overhang, we need to trace the openings for each unit and cut them out using a jigsaw. Next, we'll attach a 2-inch piece of rough sawn pine for the overhang using wood glue and pocket screws. The pocket screw holes are on the top side so they don't show when the metal roof is on. I made a sign in Photoshop and printed it on sticky back sign material, then mounted it to quarter inch plywood. I'll attach that to the front wall using silicone. We attached a few pieces of treated 2x4 to keep the house from touching the ground. Next, a coat of primer and two coats of a glossy exterior paint to keep this house looking good. Kevin is cutting the two pieces of metal roofing with a jigsaw and a metal cutting blade. And we even cut some carpet squares to make it a little more comfortable for the cats. Now we'll attach the roofing with self-tapping metal screws that have washers. Finally, we add the top piece to keep rainwater from getting inside. The only thing left to do is load it up and make our surprise delivery. Okay. Well, we had a lot of fun working on this week's project. Melody's Cat House. We'd like to remind you guys to like and subscribe to our channel and make comments if you'd like. And we've also got a freebie for you this week if anybody's interested in plans. Eventually we're going to have a website set up where we can offer plans for these projects, but we don't have that done yet. So um, if you would like a set of plans for the kitty house and you email us before the end of October 2020, Mm -hmm. We will email you a PDF of these plans for free. Our email address, it'll be down in the show notes also, mm -hmm. but it is threeoakswoodworking at gmail.com. And all that we ask in return is that you have your loved ones get their checkup and mammogram. It's very important. Do it for Melody. Right. We appreciate everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We made our first YouTube milestone, and we even got an email from them. Probably not from a person, but an email. Yeah, electronic. We have 100 subscribers now. Thanks over to 100. all of you. Way over 100, like 104. Ooh. Yeah. Thank you very much. As an Amazon associate, we earn from qualifying purchases. I'll list a couple of our favorite tools in the show notes too, with a link to Amazon so you can check them out. Until then, have a great week and keep, keep your, your biscuits, biscuits dry. dry.